Should we introduce ourselves first, then? Mm, as we'll normal. All right, hello, I'm Witless. Mm. <laughs> That's Errol. He is cramming his face with chocolate. Mm. She and was supposed to be here at one for lunch. Yes, but I did have, I have an important life to run. She does. She has I, dating uh, to do. And it's so, not dating. So she, you were up late last night, and that's why you're Because you're yes. up late dating. And then You stop today. with the freaking dating talk. <laughs> <laughs> we're not here to talk about my dating life. No, no, we are here to talk about video games. Yes. But old ones, so nothing new. That's I tried right. to get her to go to a movie with me on Thursday. Yep. You, you might have even saw it in the comic. Because I did do a screenshot of our Gmail chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The no. one where she ignored me. The Last Express, yeah. which was made by um, Smoking, smoking gun. gun Productions. No, not Smoking Gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it came, out, it came out after Riven, so probably like 1998, 1999. So you, you change everything by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to do a mist review because she plays them every year. She plays all four of them. Five. All five. And occasionally I'll try and do the online one every yes. once in a while. And so we will do a mist thing because just so that people who may want to know about mist. Yes, but will. we're here to talk about The Last Express, which is an amazing game. Absolutely great it game. It was so good because they spent so much money on it. And this wasn't like wasted money. I no, no. They did a great know. job. On the production of this game, and yeah. then it tanked the company. It was it really was their unfortunate. First and last game, and it was like their best game. Yeah. Well, well it of is, course it was. Their but only game. But, like and, I only played it recently because. So what was, this game is about? That you play this American named Robert. No, Kath. You, are you the American? Who's the American? American's Robert Kath. Yeah, you okay. play the American. And you're supposed to meet your friend Tyler Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> You did, you did research. You I did, did research. Well. Knowing okay, <laughs> so and you're supposed to meet Tyler Whitney on a train, um, yeah. the, the Orient Express, in right. fact, mm -hmm. uh, in Paris. Or uh, where does it start yeah, off? Yeah, it starts off in Paris. And so you go to your coach. Starts off your and so the first thing you have to figure out is how to get rid of the body. And you're kind of you're actually the main character in this game is actually wanted by the police, so he can't really raise any alarms because if anyone catches wind that he's on the train, they'll contact the police themselves. So he's also on the run. You don't really know why. It's it's kind of vague, but do we know why in the end? Um, Good, because I don't remember why. I never all. finished the game. Oh, so, you didn't finish it. Shh, we'll get to that. And uh, <laughs> let's say you see you see Tyler Whitney on the ground, and you do nothing. Yeah, that's what I did the first time. <laughs> I did nothing. I exited the car, and it lets you do whatever Watch the hell you want. It's not. It's like sandbox for adventure game. Event based by any mm -hmm. means. Like, you can leave whatever you're So if you remember the old Laura Bow mysteries that Sierra used to do, yeah. and nothing will happen until you trigger an event, and yeah. then all of a sudden, the, the clock goes up. Yeah, right. this game anyway, is very non-linear. It, it will, everything will happen regardless of what yeah. you do. So it's I left real the Real time, real time adventure gaming. Yeah, I left the room, went to the dining car, had dinner with a guy, and then Ooh, <laughs> they discovered that it's say no more, eh? <laughs> I had dinner with the fat German guy. Oh, even better. Oh, that's another thing. But anyway, they discover the body. <laughs> and then I die. And then or you die. the game ends because they kind of blame you immediately. Yes. And But what ends up happening but is... But there's other things that happen too. So you decide, so you go back and thinking, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't leave the body inside right. of the cabin. Right. So you can take the body and throw it out the window. But then... Then they'll, they'll stop you probably in Vienna. I don't know. It stops. And then they find a body and then you get arrested. So no, that's no, no. What, you don't get arrested. Oh, no. You, you hide. Oh, okay. Uh, so, like, it either either you can hide the body in the bed, and you have to keep shuffling it around the train. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this game is... Yeah, I, I played most Brilliant. of it. Yeah, it's and, really cool. Um, and the nice thing, you say, he was a, she was in the dining car with a fat German. And that's what... Amanda does on her off days. <laughs> and the voice acting in this is brilliant, yeah. actually. So you have the German speaking in a German accent. Ah, Herr Whitney, you are different than I had imagined. Sorry to keep you waiting, I ran across an old friend. One does have the most unexpected encounters on trains. And then if you 
are somewhere else and he's talking to someone in German, he's yeah. speaking German to them. It is the same all across the train. Like, it's really nice little details that people, who, the characters who are French speak French, the characters who are Russian speak Russian, and... and oh, and it's, uh, unlike normal Americans, uh, uh, what's his name, Ethan Hawke? Robert no. Kath. Robert Kath. <laughs> so, so Robert Kath can speak French and German. Right? Right. So anytime somebody speaks German, you'll see subtitles uh, yeah. of it in English for the rest of us that can't. Yeah. I can't speak. Them. And it's I interesting. Just... I think there are a couple of characters that speak Arabic who we never really see on yeah. the train. You just walk by their car and there's no subtitles no. for that. So because languages he doesn't understand, you have no idea what So yeah, saying. again, really it's nice It's really push. cool that way. There's, and the animation is really cool because yeah. it's different, right? At the very beginning, yeah. it's all like um, slideshow kind of looks. In other words, it's a show picture mm -hmm. and a picture and then it's like he's sitting there. And then it's kind of like here, reading an old uh, an right old uh, newspaper comic, like from the early 20th century. So it's very, uh, yeah, and it looks like that. But the yeah. neat thing is, when you're walking down the, the, the car, yeah. the, each rail train, whatever yeah. their car called, that's, all in, that's in real time and animated. So you're standing yeah. there, and you'll walk, and somebody's walking towards you, and yeah. as they get closer, they kind of look at you, they might nod, or they might like avoid your gaze if it's a female, because yeah. they tend to do that. Do the amount of care and detail that went into this game. The animation is great and stylized. Mm -hmm. The characters are well developed and and really interesting. Like there are a bunch of side stories that you can just pay attention to as you're walking through the train, and they're just as engaging as the mm -hmm. main story. Bonsoir, viens ici. So there's a family with the, the sun, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. This little sun. And they'll be like scolding the sun or anything, but they'll be in their car and the door will be closed. You could either A, just stand outside the door and just listen in like yeah. the voyeur you are, yeah. and then you'll hear it muffled as they're talking through it. Pourquoi le caches-tu? Montre-le-moi. Non, je l'ai trouvé, il est à moi. Tu es vraiment impossible. Tu peux le garder, mais à condition de ne plus siffler avec. Or if you knock and open the door, you can talk yeah. to them, but the mom might be talking to the son still. So you'll, you might hear the exact same conversation, except right. you're talking to them now. Except now you can see it, too. Yeah. And it's weird, because it's all real time. You could completely avoid that conversation and not go there. Yeah, and that's a really... This also kind of makes it a really difficult game with the... Very hard. With the... Um, just how non-linear it is, because you if you don't know what you have to do next, and you're searching up and down the train, something might be going on. An important argument. An important missing. argument that you're missing right now because you you want to catch you a cockroach with the sun. Or, yeah, or you're, you're with the bad German. <laughs> or you're with flirting. the bad German flirting, or you're trying to uh, flirt. There's a woman on board. Yes, that you're yeah, you're flirting. Flirt. You're trying to flirt with this woman all the time. But, actually. Yes. Yeah, and what's her um, name? Oh, I forget. She was just Some girl. Vienna lady, and uh, Vienna lady. Yeah, I remember she's her. From Vienna. And she would some once. She waited for you outside your door to your yes, cabin. She did. Remember? Yeah. And then she was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one one nice that. little okay. thing is that the little there's a little boy on the train, and he, he knows pretty much that something's gone on because he's like he's kind of being like, "Look, a dead body outside the train." You throw him outside. <laughs> there's one mini game that we both hated, and that's trying to catch the beetle. So he loses his beetle, and you, you need to give it back to him, you know, because then he'll tell you something important, because he knows everything in this game. Yeah, he has like he actually has an object that is incredibly important to finishing the game. And, uh, but you have to give him back this beetle. You have to more, catch a beetle for And you have him. to take a box, and you have to try to catch this beetle by going, BAM! And it's hard. Okay, it's now really I, see, hard. I told you I was going to be strong, and I'm not. No, don't be strong. Eat. I don't know, if you don't normally play video games, or adventure games, because it's still an adventure game, mm -hmm. and it's not it's not indicative of any adventure game really out there. So if you're thinking, I want to find something else like this, you're not going to find it. No, it's a all. very unique game, and I think that's one of the reasons it tanked like it did. Because it was also coming in at the end of like the adventure game Golden Age. Yeah, and, and it was real. But they also rotoscoped all the characters. Oh, that, right? yeah. <laughs> they painted their faces uh, for the rotoscoping to make it easier to copy over. Yeah. And then they animated that. And yeah. it's really cool. It, it looks great. Like, I don't know if you're going to intersperse gameplay. Yeah, I'll probably intersperse. And that, well, the great thing, too, is, you know, I remember reading, they, they went and found old Orient Express yeah. uh, coaches to copy it exactly. They found a, an actual, like, a boxcar 
that's very hard to find now. And, yeah. and, and that's where they did a lot of their research, was just walking down this old boxcar and uh, designing and they, it from that. Yes, yeah, play the Last Express. It's if you've not if you like adventure games and you've never played one before, yeah, this is a you very should unique. play it just so you can finish it. Yeah, after I all mean, these years, I've watched, I've watched, I've watched a Let's Play of it to see. Oh, so you know how happened. it ends? I know how it ends essentially. And it's back in the day, I did not have the internet because I was young and it wasn't around. I'm yet. Back in the day, I didn't have the internet, and so it was. It was because now the sad thing about adventure games, like you know, somebody has solved it and put up a fact, yeah. a game facts, and you don't have to try anymore. I but, know we're rambling now, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, I was thinking, like, oh, what about in-game hint systems? Because those are becoming huge yes, now. Yes, it is. And it it's is. very easy to just be like, well, what's this? <laughs> and, and unfortunately, Miss Ford did that. Oh, did they? They have an in-game. Oh, they do. Well, actually, they never use the in my, my But when my daughters play any of my adventure games on my laptop yeah. or my iPad, they why don't you just try the hint? I'm going, I'm not using hints. I didn't have to use it for the past 70 years. I'm not going to use it now. We didn't have any things called walkthroughs. <laughs> we had invisit clues and a hint line. Mm -hmm. We just cried until we solved it. You could call. I actually got my dad to oh, call yeah. once for a hint. Really? Yeah. Uh, I wonder what would happen if you called those numbers now. Um, I don't know. Probably. Do, do, do. The number you have called is out of service. Okay. You didn't, did you watch Girl of the Dragon Tattoo with me, right? Yeah. You know, that confused me. Because you see, when poor Mikhail <laughs> called on the phone. Did I talk about this in the last video? I don't know. And it goes. Do, 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 do. And, it, and the phone was oh, not, yeah. not, not out of service. It was like out of range. Except it did the. Do, do, do. Yeah, that was the wrong sound. And I was it? confused. Because <laughs> I couldn't hear what they were saying. And then they spoke in Swedish afterwards. And so it was all confusing for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now we are at the part of the review where we ask what Leaf thinks. I'm really interested because uh, he doesn't normally He's play adventure games. Of, he, I doesn't so. have, he doesn't play adventure games. Oh, uh, not a lot of them, I don't think. What but uh, so I'd be interested to see what his opinion is. So Leaf, what do you think? I don't trust that guy for anything anymore, really. No. So if you ever get a chance to go on GOG.com, what is good old games? What good is old games, Good yeah. old games. Yeah. I hate going to that site, only because I go and then I see these games I want to buy. And they're only like, like I think Last it's Express like, oh. is only about $6. Or if it gets even cheaper, what, $2? Oh, I can I don't have time to play that. In the next video, we are going to talk about all sorts of fun things. Yes. Don't know what yet, <laughs> but we're going to talk about it. Already, I chose the last two, and we would have talked about, you know, Mission Impossible, but no, Amanda stood me up. Well... <sighs> so next week, you can pick what we talk about next week. What do we can I? Yeah, what do you want to uh, well, we'll pick one. Yeah! I have to think about it. I want to... Um, something you like, so we can be excited about it. I like it. Mist. Um, I was going to say I like men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. Let's talk about men. <laughs> Men who play this. <laughs> That'd be a really specific and boring There you topic. go. Wow. Um, mm. And I should be getting Jurassic Park in the mail soon. Oh, really? As a rental, yeah. Oh, and wow. Well, why don't we play it? Do you mind if we play it together? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. It's a. Said yeah first. Oh, I mean. Yeah. So next week will be an old game again. And the week after will be hopefully Jurassic Park. Then you'll be, then we'll have like something. How old is it? Did it just come out or something? It's, it's fairly new, like a few months ago. Wow. Yeah. We are like an up to date review site. <laughs> Video. We're not a site. And yes. Anyway, my name is Errol. And my name is Still Witless. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. Uh, good luck editing that. <laughs>